Welcome to our tip 53 and I'm going to be covering GG Density, a new R package for developing high density regions. So we're going to make plots that look like this today where it locates the density regions for certain groups within your data set. All right, so to get started here, what you want to do if you haven't done so already, sign up for the weekly R tips. I have a link in the notes that will get you access to all the code that you see here today. We're going to be working out of this folder 053 GG density. All right, next thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the libraries that we're going to be using today. So the tidyverse, tidyquant, and GG density. Uh, we'll take a quick look at MP at the data set. It's the MPG data set. What we're primarily going to be focusing in on is the displacement, uh, which is the uh, value of the engine displacement or the number of liters that that engine holds. And we're going to see the effect on highway fuel economy. And uh, we're also going to be taking a look at the different class of the vehicle, whether it's compact, subcompact, SUV, and so on. All right. So um, first, I'm going to show you how to create just a quick basic ggplot, and then we're going to see the problem here, which is pretty tough to pick out the groups. So if I run this code here, uh, I can see I've got MPG, we've got ggplot, uh, we're doing displacement as a function of highway fuel economy, and you can see there's kind of a general trend down, but we've got these different classes of vehicles, and we can see that... You know, maybe sort of like these yellow ones seem to be kind of lower on the highway fuel economy and they have higher displacement. And then we can see up here, the blue ones seem to be and the red ones seem to be um, a little bit better on the, on the highway fuel economy. But it's kind of tough to pick out all of these groups, right? So what we want to do is we want to check out this, how to do what's called a high density region with this new geometry that comes from GG density. It's this geom HDR. So what I'm going to do is I took this code up here and I just split it out a little bit. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to add in this new geom with the probabilities that we want to run. So if I run this here, control enter, I can see we get a plot like this. So now I can see basically uh, what's called a KDE or a uh, kernel density estimator and it, what it does is it aims at getting the 50 uh, probability of 50 percent of the points are in this region so you can see that if we look at this yellow one which is for the SUVs 50 percent of the points are in this region and then uh, I have 90.9 so uh, it's kind of tough to see but there's also another kind of glob that's out here that's at about 90 percent of the points and what this does is it allows us to focus on different groups within our data set so we can see we've distinctly we've got a group up here the two seaters uh, we've got the group here suvs and where they tend to lie we've got the mid size which tend to be around here uh, we've got the blue and the, and the reds which are over in this region and so on now i will say one thing this gets if you have a lot of groups it gets kind of tough to pick them all out so uh, what's really good is if you combine this with this function called facet wrap and that's what we're going to check out next i can actually split out each of these groups and see where they're located so i can see that the two seaters are you know around six um, on the uh, uh, displacement and they have relatively low um, uh, highway fuel economy but it's definitely a lot more than say the suvs which are here uh, around 15 miles per gallon so we're getting about 25 mile per gallon highway um, so you can see each of the different groups and where they kind of stack up on this facet and that's pretty cool uh, the next thing uh, you can there's a different way to view this so we did the high density regions but you can do hdr lines which is just basically taking the code that we did up here and it's going to add these lines to it now you're going to yell at me once you, once i show you this but um this is a lot it's a lot to visualize here so what i highly recommend is if you do the lines definitely do the facet wrap and what this is, does is allows you to put the um the, the hdr lines around it so you've got the 60th percentile here this is the red line and then the blue line is going to be our our 50th percentile all right if you want to learn more if you liked what you saw today and you want to learn more about r and how to use it for business analysis check out my free r track master class i give you the 10 secrets to becoming a data scientist with the r programming language and this is amazing guys so i have a link in the video definitely check it out and that gives you the 10 secrets that will help you it's what helped me in my career so that's free check it out 
uh, the links in the video notes. All right, I'll see you on the other side.